Your dinner plans may be as simple as searching the pantry, a trip to the grocery store, or a call for takeout. But it's not all that easy for every family. As many as 13 million children in the United States don't know where their next meal will come from, and it's becoming a crisis. That's because pediatricians say hunger can harm a child's health, development, and overall well-being. A retired educator in Vermont saw this problem and decided to take action in her community. Reporter Joe Carroll introduces us to Barb Hyde, who offers up some food for thought and we put in two meals. There's no class today at the Dover School in Southern Vermont. We've been packing since September. But just past the Kaffa Gymatorium, there's a flurry of activity. Volunteers are packing bags of food. So this is for next week, right? To give kids nourishment for the weekend that they might not have at home. Yay! It was 85-year-old Barb Hyde's idea for the grocery giveaway called Food for Kids. They don't have enough to eat. Who knows why? The group of mostly women also pack meals for schools in Wordsboro and Wilmington, an area where million dollar homes dot the mountainside. But there are pockets of poverty. Barb says many locals work seasonal jobs. A lot of the second homeowners have no idea that there is poverty or that there are kids that are hungry. That once included Barb. She and her family traveled up from New Jersey to ski on the weekends. How would you describe yourself? Oh, I guess I'm a doer. And still a skier. Oh, it's what I do, yeah. I ski with a group of women called Chicks on Sticks. She convinced Mount Snow Ski Resort to donate 12 grand towards the hunger program. I had no idea it would be that much money. That was a few years ago. Now their cash on hand is low, but the prices of food is high. When the group started in 2017, it cost them three bucks a bag. Now it's easily over five. Yeah, let's do that. Do some of you folks put in your own little bit of money? Yes, yeah, because we really do believe in the program. This year, they'll pack 2,500 bags of free meals, 17,000 since the beginning. What do we have here? Oh, this, this is just from my former life when I was a high school principal. Principal encourages female students, so how did you encourage them? I brought in women in management positions where they used math. Today, though, the focus is on food. Do you think you're making a difference? I hope so. It's very hard to know precisely how much of a difference we're making. If it's any indication by the amount of bags going out the door, their work is certainly fulfilling. There we go.